mga kapatid, mga kapamilya, mga kapuso. Welcome back again to my channel. Oriology. And today, at ngayon, lalakayin natin ang sigma notation. So, writing and evaluating sigma notation. So, ano nga ba ang sigma notation? Okay, so, pag sigma notation denoted as sum, ibig sabihin sum siya, so plus, and write it as, nakasulat siya na sigma, so ibig sabihin ito yung sigma, symbol ng sigma natin. Pag sinabi kasing sigma, that is sum, Greek, kasi siya. So, sigma notation of f of i, from m to n. So, yun yung basa na ito. No? Sabi na, the, se the summation, the summation of f of i from m to n. So, tandaan na yung m and n i integers at yung f of i is the terms or the pattern. Kung baga, yun yung formula ng sequence or the series natin. So, para mas maunawaan natin, no? try natin yung examples So, expand each of summation and simplify if possible. So, number one, sabi na kanina, from itong number dito, from n, from n to n. From n to n. So, ibig sabihin, mag-start ka sa second term. Kung anong term kasi ito, hanggang sa fifth term. Yung m at saka n. So, kapag isasolve natin ito, no, from 2, So, sunod din. So, 2 ang isi-substitute natin kay i. So, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. Next, hindi ka lalak na agad kay 5. So, susunod kay 2 ay 3. So, 3 ang substitute kay i. So, 3 times 2, 6. 6 plus 4, 10. Plus, 2 ulit. So, ito yung 3. So, the first... Second, as for sorry, the second, the third. Ah, ano yung sunod sa third? Four. Four plus two. Eight plus four is twelve. So then yung pang fourth, and then the last pang five. So five plus two, ay five times two is ten. Ten plus four is fourteen. So sabi, simplify if possible. So pwede natin tong isimplify. So, 8 plus 10 is 18. 18 plus 12 is 30. And 30 plus 14 is 40. 44. So, this is now the... Ito yung expanded niya. So, expanded, expanded nung 2. Nang summation of 2i plus 4 from 2 hanggang... From second term hanggang 5th term. Yun yung ibig sabihin nun. So, ito yung second, third, fourth, and... So, mga isa-isahin mo siya. Okay, next. Number two. Summation of 3 raised to i from 0 hanggang 4. So, isa-isahin natin kapag 0. So, 3 raised to 0 is 1 plus anong sunod sa 0? 1. So, hanggang maka 4 term tayo from 0 term hanggang 4 term. From, from mag 1 to, 3 raised to 1 is 3. Next. Ito yung 0. Ito yung 1. Next. 2. 3 raised to 2. That is 9. So, ito na yung 2. Next. Sunod sa 2 ay 3. So, 3 raised to 3. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And then, the last. Yung 4 na tayo. So, 3 raised to 4. That is 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27, 27 times 3, for is 81. So, ang pinaka-total niyan ay 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 9 is 13. So, 13 plus 27, o 13 plus 27 is 40, and 40 plus 81, 40 plus 81 is 100. 21. So, this is the value of summation of 3 raised to i from 0 to 4.
Okay, last number three. For the example number one. Okay, so sigma notation from of i squared minus 2i plus 1 from 1 to 5. So, try natin. Malaki-laki na naman to. So, pwede natin i-represent in table of values. So, from 1, ibig sabihin from 1, 2, 3, 4, hanggang ang 5. So, this is our f of i. So, kapag 1 ang i natin, 1 squared is so, lipat na natin. 1 squared is 1 minus 2 times 1 x plus 1. So, kapag 1 yan. Okay, so next, natin na simplify. So, 1 squared is 1 minus 2 plus 1. So, 1 minus 2 is negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Next, yung 2 naman ay substitute natin. 2 squared minus 2 times 2 plus 1. So, 2 squared is 4 minus 4 plus 1. So, 4 minus 4 is 0 plus 1 is 1. Next, 3. Pag 3 squared minus 2 times 3 plus 1. So, 3 muna yung sinoptitude doon. So, 3 times 3 is 9 minus 6 plus 1. So, 15. So, okay, mali. mali. 9 minus 3 is... Eh, 9 minus 6 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. And then, last... Ay, sorry, may dalawa pa. 4. 4 squared minus 2 times 4 plus 1. So, this is 16 minus 8 plus 1. So, 16 minus 8 is 8 plus 1 is 9. And then, last... 5, 5 squared minus 2 times 5 plus 1. So, this is 25 minus 10 plus 1. So, 10, 25 minus 10 is 15 plus 1 is 16. So, that is the series. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay 0 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16. And then, the final answer 1 plus 5 is, ay, 1 plus 5, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 9 is 14, plus 16 is 30. So, 30 is the summation of i squared minus 2i plus 1 from 1 to 5. Yes? Okay. So, with it tayo. Write its expression in sigma notation. So, ito yung expand series natin. No? So, hanapin mo. So, ibig sabihin, hanapin mo yung formula. Since ito ay plus, ibig sabihin, that is summation. So, ibig sabihin, ang formula dyan, ano ba yung pattern na ito? That is 1 over n. So, from 1 hanggang 50. Ibig sabihin, ang, dahil n ang ginamit natin, so n lang gagamitin natin dito. n is from 1 hanggang kay 50. Kasi pang 50 term to. Next. Next, number 2. So, alamin muna natin yung pattern. So, ito ay ibig sabihin 0. Kasi parang squared lahat to. 1 squared plus 2 squared. Line is 3 squared. Ito rin ay 4 squared. 5 squared plus 36, sorry, 6 squared. So, ibig sabihin ito ay 0 squared. So, ang pattern natin ay, this is sum of, ito ay sum ng n squared, na ang n natin ay mula kay 0 hanggang kay 6. So, that is sigma. And last, ito naman, Observe mo muna ano yung pattern. So, that is parang 1 over 2 raised to 1. 1 over 2 raised to 2. Plus 1 over 2 raised to 3. Plus 1 over 2 raised to 4. 1 over 2 raised to 5. And 1 over 2 raised to 6. So, tama. 
So, ang I natin, ang formula, okay. so, ibig sabihin ng formula dyan ay 1 over 2 raised to n, where n is from 1 hanggang kay 6. So, that is writing in sigma notation. So, again, writing and evaluating sigma notation. So, don't forget to subscribe. So, sana natutbo kayo sa lesson na ito. So, okay. That's all for this day. Bye-bye and God bless.